we've got a number of visitors with King Cricket in Barbados and um, they're not wearing masks at the Oval. 60% is the um, headcount for the Oval, but we've got a lot of folk down there not wearing masks. How, what, what, are we, what can we do to help stem this area for a surge in the Omicron variant or whatever variant may be blowing around? Dr. George will take that question, Trevor. Okay. The cricket is going on and we are happy about that. There will be from time to time persons who don't observe or breach our protocols. Let me assure you that there is the party stand and the party stand was allowed allowed persons without masks because those individuals both had to show proof of vaccination and were tested within 24 hours of entry. If you test negative on rapid antigen tests within 24 hours of entry, your likelihood of you having COVID at the time is extremely small. And therefore, there was only, it was only allowed a specific subset of persons in Kensington. And those individuals should be showing proof of vaccination plus having a rapid antigen test. In addition, we also instituted rapid antigen tests for all workers associated with cricket. But I'm glad that you have brought this to my attention because this should not occur in the other stands. And I will certainly be chatting with um, Mr. Chapman and his team to see how we can manage this situation. Thank you.